I'm going to use a mobile phone front camera and diffraction grating to work out the wavelength of the infrared coming from the remote control. You can see that the first order infrared fringe is well beyond the first order visible light red fringe. If you look at an infrared remote control with your eyes, you can't see anything coming from it because your eyes can't detect the infrared. Many cameras also have an infrared filter to stop any of the infrared getting into the camera, so you can't see it with those. But the front camera of old mobile phones doesn't tend to have an infrared filter. So let's look at the setup. I've got one ruler front to back to measure the distance the mobile phone is away from the main ruler, which is going across the back. I've made sure that main meter ruler is level using a spirit level, and I've got a filament bulb at the 50 centimeter mark. Then my mobile phone front camera is facing that way with a diffraction grating of 300 lines per millimeter stuck over the camera with blue tack. And this shows the setup from above. I've used the ruler to make sure that the diffraction grating is exactly 30 centimeters away from the meter ruler. All I need to do now is pause the video when I can see the first order fringe from the infrared and I should be able to calculate its wavelength. I can see that the first order fringe over here is approximately 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and a half centimetres away from the zeroth order or central fringe here. I can draw a triangle to work out the angle at which that first order fringe occurs. I know the ruler to the diffraction grating was 30 centimetres, so I can mark in that as 30 centimetres, and then I know the distance that I've just said was 8.5 centimetres to the first order fringe, and what I now need to work out is to use some trigonometry to work out that angle theta. And I can remember that tan theta is equal to the opposite over adjacent, and so therefore I know that theta will be tan to the minus 1, or inverse tan, of the opposite, which is 8.5, divided by the adjacent, which is 30. And I can work that out on a calculator, and I get 15.8 degrees. Let me move this up out of the way so that I can do the final calculation to get the wavelength. So I now need to remember that the equation for a diffraction grating is n lambda equals d sine theta, where n is the order of the fringe, lambda is the wavelength, d is the spacing between the slits of the diffraction grating, and theta is the angle of the fringe. In my case, n is equal to 1, so I can just say that lambda equals d sine theta. d is the spacing between slits, and since I have 300 lines per millimetre, d for me is going to be 1 millimetre, or 1 times 10 to the minus 3 of a metre, divided by 300. So I can now work out that the wavelength lambda is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 3 over 300, times by sine of my angle 15.8, and if I do that on the calculator, I get 9.09 times 10 to the minus 7 metres, which I could write as about 910 nanometres. That seems reasonable because the end of visible light is between 700 and 800 nanometres, and that's well beyond the end. And I checked that typical wavelengths for infrared remote controls are about 940 nanometers, so I'm not too far away from that.